Hey guys. So this video is going to be a video of a little haul that I got from Lush. And pretty much, uh, there's a Lush across the street from my office, and I decided to go get a few things that I needed, and a few things that caught my attention, so let's get this haul started. And I know it's been a long while since I've posted any videos, and I apologize for that. Um, just been busy, and the first thing that I got was the Mint Juleps Lip Scrub. And I was looking for a lip scrub because lately my lips have been really, really, um, dry and a little bit dead skin in there so this is what it looks like and prior to this I was actually looking for um, looking at the what do you call that the fresh brown butter lip scrub in Sephora which is like $25 this however is a little bit cheaper at, uh, at $8.99 and um, it says here gently rub a little peppermint and chocolate sugar onto your lips and scrub them soothe and smooth so so far I like this product a lot um, the only downside to this since I've been using it is that your your fingers get really sticky so you have to wash your hands after using this um, and yeah it has peppermint in it so it makes your lips feel a little bit tingly afterwards which I'm not um, mad at because I kinda like that feeling so um, mint juleps and also with all Lush products, they have expiration dates, so this one lasts a little bit longer um, until October 2013, so I have over a year to use this up, and there's actually a lot of product in this. I think this is a better value than the, the Fresh Brown Butter Lip Scrub from Sephora, and I think this is a little bit bigger at 0.8 ounces, so got that. So along with this Mint Juleps Lip Scrub, I got the Honey Trap Lip Balm, which they said was a good combination between the two, and it looks like this it's it's really pasty it's at uh, 695 and it says it has sweet orange and peppermint kind of smell that as well as honey which helps moisturize the lips and one thing that the person from Lush told me about this product was that it adheres to the lips a lot longer than the other lip balms so um, this one is pretty good for long-lasting, moisturized lips. And since it's a little bit pasty, you kind of have to rub it on your fingertips a little bit longer so that it kind of um, makes it a little bit softer to glide onto the lips. And yeah, so these two, pretty good. The next two products that I got were soaps. And one thing that I really needed was a morning soap. I know that I use, I probably told you that I use the Pink Grapefruit Exfoliating... Um, cleanser that have the microbeads in it but I usually use that after I get home from work after I work out and I don't want to use that in the morning even though I have before but I wanted something that was for the morning time and this one's called sexy peel and you can cut um, different amounts worth of soap and I asked for like a five dollar piece and this one the little subtext here says the wake you up for breakfast morning soap and I wanted something that's good for the morning time, that'll wake me up, and this one did just that. Anyways, it looks like this or has organic orange juice, and it has zesty lime oil. Um, the, and it also has orange peels in it, so it lightly exfoliates the, um, the skin as well. And it's very citrusy, and it'll definitely wake me up in the morning. And then in addition, I found this other soap that I wanted to try a little bit of. Um, I asked for $4 worth and they gave me four dollars twenty cents it's called the sandstone sandstone soap and the subtext that's, that's um, below this says follow the brazilians and keep your body smooth with sandstone sand soap because i can talk right now this is what it looks like it's a little bit more grittier it's a little bit darker in color as well um, it has a layer of sand in it so it exfoliates your skin has coriander and uh, gardenia oil to tone and brighten the skin and when I was talking to the person from Lush about this product she said to probably not use this every day since it is an exfoliating soap maybe use it once every two or three days um, so that's probably what I'm gonna do and I that's why I got a smaller piece um, honestly because I didn't want you know a large piece and then all of a sudden um, if I'm using it once every three days it's gonna probably last forever and I don't know if I'm gonna even like it so that's that the last item that I got was a bath melt called Sarawedan's Cauldron and it's a bath melt that's wrapped inside a little cloth here and it's for seven dollars ninety five cents 
and the subtext on the website wrote notes said magical relaxing bath melt for softer skin it has oats lavender and sandalwood to calm and soothe and cocoa butter and walnut oil to moisturize the skin and I've used this product before and I really liked it that's why I purchased it again um, one big thing that I like about this product is that it's inside a little um, kind of baggy cloth baggy so it's easy to clean up if there is anything in here like the sand um, and it smells really relaxing like something that you would definitely use in the nighttime uh, before you go to bed and this is perfect. I hope you enjoyed this haul video. Um, all of the products that I got all together turned out to be like 35 US dollars. Um, I know it's a bit much for soaps and lip products but you gotta splurge sometime, right? So, yeah, if you have questions of any of the products that I have, leave in the comment box below. Any video requests, comment box below as well. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for all my new subscribers. I finally hit 700 subscribers, um, and it's been a while, so my next goal is 1,000. So maybe I'll do a, um, a, what do you call that, a giveaway video at 1,000. It'd be a pretty big milestone. So, um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.